And on that note, Houston teachers are voicing their concerns about COVID-19 in the classroom. That's one of the day's other big stories. Up to 150 HISD teachers call out sick to send a message. They said they won't feel safe until COVID related concerns are addressed. Things like greater classroom size limitations and stricter social distancing. HISD said the health and safety of staff and students continues to be its top priority. Charge dropped. Derek Chauvin no longer faces a third degree murder charge for the death of George Floyd, but the former Minneapolis police officer still faces second degree murder and manslaughter charges. 77% of local drivers who test positive for drugs are male. That according to a new study by Houston's Forensic Science Center. It reviewed 12,600 DWI blood alcohol samples. Nearly half of the under 21 group tested negative for alcohol, but 80% of them had one or more other drugs in their system. President Trump takes on CBS News correspondent Leslie Stahl. It stems from a confrontational interview for 60 minutes. The president cut the interview short. Then yesterday, the White House posted its video of the entire interview. CBS News released its own excerpt and released a statement calling the president's move unprecedented and promising fair coverage on 60 Minutes this Sunday night. The growth that you see on this fire is unheard of, 100,000 acres. Strong winds and extreme drought fuels wildfires in Colorado. There are at least seven fires burning, including two of the largest in state history. And those are the big stories on this Friday morning.